a man in this yacht for us, Nico. Rendezvous out at sea. This is the place. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of it. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago, then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him and Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. From what I hear, Aiden still rants about me. You Parks boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedeka? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Another immigrant, arriving in this city, trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. What the fuck is this? Think I got a clue? Use our boat to shield him from these fuckers. I don't give a shit if this thing sinks. We gotta protect him. I'd rather swim home tonight than come back tomorrow to die for those notes. How'd they know we were here? I don't know. I told my dealer I was good for the money. I owed him. Maybe a few people at the pub I borrowed money from as well. They'll say anything for a fix. I wouldn't know. Could be a coincidence anyway. Or fate. You sound like my mother. Got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Mr. McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only place for it. See you soon.
Thank you. All right, boy? Yes. Good. How do you do it? I went into a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? I heard he's being moved. <clears throat> Maybe this is our time. Put all scrap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy. Just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. We're the same. The same. This is the same. We're the same, you and me. Nico, I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with them? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block them that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. All right, I've got the truck. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great, they're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon.
I'm in position, Pecky. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy's up to? Hey, buddy, we're gonna need you to move this thing. I got a bad feeling about this. They're making a play for the prisoner! Defend the stockade! Nico, I'll handle the prisoner. We got cops in the vicinity, Nico. Get rid of this attention, Nico. We don't want anyone after us while we're doing what we gotta do.
Okay, man. First thing we got to do is dump this prison van. Cops will be looking. Packy, the cops will be looking for it.
Okay, there's a car. You're not free yet, asshole. Get in that car. We've got rid of the unwanted attention. Now it's time for business. Get us to the cliffs and left wood. The cliffs of left wood, then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. Out you come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Name Derek McCreary ring any bells? He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless. So you thought you'd rat him out? This is the last sunset you're ever going to see. Enjoy it. Nico, send him packing. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. Mr. Bellick, this is Karen from Goldberg, Ligner, and Scheister. We'd like to arrange an interview for you at the earliest convenience. Come into our offices at noon tomorrow. Is that all right? I can free that period up in my schedule. Super. Your interview will be with Mr. Goldberg. Press the buzzer and we'll let you in. Have a nice day.
I have an interview with Goldberg tomorrow. Perfect. The smug bastard ain't gonna know what's coming at him. Teach him for sticking his nose in other people's business and get the files. Get out of here! Taxi! Hey, buddy. We'll be there in no time. Great, thanks. Welcome to Perseus. I'll be your assistant today. There's a man who knows what he wants. Mm -mm, I think I can see where you're... Nico, I told Jimmy P about you. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah, he's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead in West Texas. Ugh, oh, my nipple ring. I've got one of those myself. I've got to tell you, you are looking fine! Have a great day! NB, you want to feel the sea air in your face, huh? Why don't we go for a powerful run, dude? Sorry, bro. <coughs> yeah. I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him. Or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah. I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. Of course he did. 
I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't going to push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak uh, with Pegorino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss, salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! What are you waiting for? Oh, Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning in a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with the diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me to. I didn't get where I am by believing whatever schmuck told me. You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised you can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ass. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for him, though. I don't like the way he does business. Things got too complicated. Damn right they did. Bad Ice was a real fucker. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. Guy who owned the diamonds, gay Tony, is in with the enchiladas. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our involvement with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Pavanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission. You're going to get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time, Alden, you got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. All that ain't worth nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long, and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The Pavanos. Are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got founded. Shit. Times has changed. Since Rico, the commission ain't the same. They need a family with a new approach to be sitting down with them. I got a nice little offer to the Pavanos that's gonna persuade them to argue my case. Something real classy. Real nice. Can't wait to see the look on their faces.
Ice those fucks, Nico! The fucking Pavanos! If we kill every one of them slime balls, then maybe the other families will give me their seat on the commission! Fucking Liberty City families! Get them, Nico! I'm doing my best! Yeah, well, best ain't good enough! I did my best! Made a name for the Pecorinos! Earned a lot of good money for a lot of bad people! This happens. They try to fucking kill me! Well, at least they had the respect to do it at the meet. They didn't come to your home while you and your wife were sleeping. Let's make them wish they was never born! There you go. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place.
I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alden, eh? Even if it don't in Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seem like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. It's you. You alone? Yeah, how you doing? Fucking great. What you think? Yeah, it's hard leaving with the past, huh? Yeah, especially when the president's turned into an asshole. Psh, <laughs> fucking bitch. Nobody wants to roll with me no more. It's like I'm tainted. What do you mean? Playboy don't want to hang no more. He pays for you to come over instead. My girlfriend, the love of my fucking life. Man, I was pulling moves in the joint so this bitch could pay rent. Now she won't answer the phone. Man, I gave her everything when I was inside. Cars, houses, apartments, bank accounts, everything. Mm. I heard she hanging with Javon now. Who? Some punk who fucking talked. Swears he wasn't involved in me going down, but I knew. I knew his ass was lying. Now motherfuckers fucking my girl? Mm. For real? Shit is fucked up, man. Sometimes I just wanna end this shit. Just bam. But I ain't there yet. Mm -mm. Not quite. Listen, why don't you go talk to her? Psh, ain't shit to say. Then I'll go speak to both of them. I'll ask for your money back, and if they don't agree, I'll make them. Where did they hang out? At some arcade in Chinatown. Uh, look, man, don't bother. No, I'll bother. I'm getting paid. And besides, you remind me of me. Uh-huh.
We're going to be. Got it. Thank you very much. Hey, are you the two snakes who played Dwayne Forge when he was in the joint? He wants his money. What? Dwayne must have finished his bid. Shit. He gonna be mad angry. So, who you think you're fighting, Bone the Clock? He was going to say anything to get out of that. No getting out of it now. Dwayne, I've got your money. Why don't you meet me a clocking bell so I can give it to you? Great. Thanks, son. See you soon. I collected on that debt for you. They paid up? Guess my name still means something out there. People still know me. I had to explain things to them. They didn't listen so good. You slept Charisse? She were a bitch, weren't she? This fool falls real hard for them. That's why he gets burnt. Thanks for getting this paper, Nico. It helps. Uh, it's Nico Bellic. I'm here for an interview. Come in, I'll buzz you through. Let's keep our eyes looking forward, okay? Mr. Bellic, welcome. I'll just see if Mr. Goldberg is available. Mr. Goldberg, Mr. Bellic has arrived for his interview. Okay, great. Uh, tell him to come through to my office. Would you please follow me, Mr. Bellick? Sure. Mr. Goldberg is such a saint. He teaches kids to swim, you know. He's just so warm and giving. All he cares about is making the world a better place. And boy, are you in trouble if you get in his way. I always get nervous before interviews. He's just in here. Don't be nervous. He doesn't fight. Hello, Nico. What's that short for, Nikolai? I'm looking for a man who can get jobs done right. Nikolai, I like your resume. You seem to be the sort of man who would go the extra distance. I just need to take another look. Get myself reacquainted with your experience.
So you're the sort of man... Standing up. Assertive move, right. I, I like a man who takes control. A guy who looks at the world, sees problems, and tries to fix them? Whoa, 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 hold on a second there, friend. We're lawyers. We Where are the files for your case against McCreary? Shit, they're on my desk. I never hurt anyone. I wouldn't be here if you'd never hurt anyone. <laughs> you didn't see anything, okay? or I will finish you off. No one to make me finish you off. Fuck the suit. Ah! Here are the files. Great. Peace at last. I feel cleansed. You silence Goldberg, too, right? I don't need to worry about him? He is done. Whoa, music to my ears! A weight has been lifted. Here's your payment. Sure, Ma, sure. <laughs> yeah, I've always been a good boy. You know me, Ma. Y yes, I'll make commissioner. No, I don't care about packing. Listen, Ma, I I've got to go. I love you, too. Good to see you. I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's funny, but I see a lot of me in you. 
You know why? No. You know there's no good and no evil. Just shades of fucking gray. Whatever. You make things 1% better, that's enough. That's our duty. If you say so. Oh, I do say so. I want to make things a bit better, by any means necessary. And you, what do you want? I want to get paid. Sure. Yeah, sure you do. So listen, I got something I need you to do. This is the last time. Of course. Some drug dealer is holed up in a tower block in East Holland. Now, this scumbag's been pushing drugs, pimping women, you name it, he's done it. I need him dealt with. Isn't that police work? <laughs> sure. <laughs> and the moon is made of cheese and the streets is paved with gold. Wake up! Excuse me? The guy's guilty of sin. He is sin! <laughs> but... It'll take me a year to get the evidence. More, maybe. And maybe good men will get taken down by that evidence. <laughs> maybe people make mistakes. But this guy is scum. How much? Oh, how much? Good money. Uh, two G's. Two? You mean five. <laughs> you know... If someone was to tell me you were some fresh off the boat killer with more balls and brains, I'd say he was about right. Uh, okay, you got a deal. Head on up to Vox site and call me. Five G's. Pull over! So can you take? Let's do it. Thanks a lot. I'm outside the project. Where is he? Should be on the second floor. Keeps an eye on all his boys from up there. The guys you see are gonna be working for that scumbag in one way or another. Anyway, these projects all got the same layout. A staircase leading up on either side. Try to get off the ground floor before getting violent. Violent? Me? Yeah, you. Remember, you're doing a real service for the community by getting rid of this scumbag. Francis McCreary is the community now? You're starting to sound like your friend Manny. Take that 
Yo, yo, man, you got me, chill. I surrender. You wouldn't kill an unarmed man, would you? This isn't my choice. The police want you dead. Yo, it's that rat cop man. Sorry. That's three units from Lancaster. Give me the car, friend. This all you, man. Ah! Get out of the way. tried to convince me to let him go. Said he'd get out of town. I finished him anyway. Good move. You shouldn't trust a word that comes out of that scum's mouth. The streets are a little bit cleaner now he's gone. One percent. Whatever you say. They don't look much cleaner from where I'm standing.